Hey, this is Russ. Hey, we're back out on the road again. Hey, I got a question for you. Does riding a folding bike make you less of a target from naysayers? <laughs> yeah, this is a good question. Now, recently, my wife and I were out riding together in uh, Wisconsin and also at the uh, at the um, what is the name of the other place? <laughs> okay, the Chain of Lakes State Park, the Fox River Trail. Yeah, we were riding together. Now, both of us were riding. Both of us were riding um, folding bikes, folding e-bikes, right? Now these bikes tend to be smaller in stature. They don't. Uh, they don't stand out as much, let's put it that way, compared to like this big Rad Rover I'm riding right now. And you take a look at the two pictures together, you'll see, yeah, one, one looks a little bit more intimidating than the other one. So, are you more accepted if you're riding a bike like that versus a bike like what I'm riding right now, the big Rad Rover? Now, I think most people, when they first see a bike like the Rad Rover, they're kind of shocked at how big the bike actually is. They, they usually say, uh, wow, that thing's huge. <laughs> I don't think they say that when they see these folding bikes. So are we more accepted on paths if we're riding something like a folding bike compared to riding something like these big cruiser bikes? Somebody asked me recently uh, whether her trike would be accepted on bike trails. I told her, I said, I believe they would as long as they're a class one, class two, but you should check with your local, uh, local uh, whatever agency runs your bike trail <laughs> just to make sure that they don't have an issue with it. But I think, you know, most e-bikes nowadays are, are pretty much accepted like a regular bike. Now, whether people accept you is another story. Even if, even if they say that, yeah, it's, a, it's allowed on our trails, people don't know that. They don't check it. They just know what's in their mind. They, they figure, no, that's a motorized vehicle. It's not allowed. <laughs> whether right or wrong, that's, that's their opinion in their, in their mind. So, going back to my original question does having something smaller in stature like the folding bike make people feel more at ease when you're on a trail now one of the reasons I like riding on the streets as you know is I don't run into people who are gonna say get off of that street you're not allowed to be on the street <laughs> but if I ride on a trail I've heard people say that to me obviously Area 13 came up with a video of people being, um, you know, verbally ac accosted, including me, I'm on that video, um, for riding our bikes on the trail. Would she have said the same thing if I was riding a folding bike? Now, it may not have to, have to be a folding bike, but something that doesn't look as big let's say a 20 inch wheel bike let's just say that let's not even say a folding bike let's say if you're riding a 20 inch wheel bike versus this big 26 inch wheel cruiser bike hey take a look at these guys to the left here <laughs> nice <laughs> did you see that it's like a tandem one is riding it like a, like a recumbent the other one's riding it like a regular bike <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen one like that. All right, would they say that they're not allowed? I mean, it's a bigger bike. Oh, it's longer. There's no, mo there's no motor on that. They're both pedaling. But okay, let's go back to the original question. If you're riding a 20 inch bike, would you, um, 20 inch wheel bike, would you be uh, less verbally abused? You know, or would you uh, be just as much abused compared to these big 26 inch wheel bikes?
think about it, put a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are on this one. My personal feeling is um, you're less abused. I didn't hear anything negative when I was on the folding bike, the places we went to. Now, it could be just the places we went to are more accepting. Fox River Trail, I saw a lot of e-bikes on there. They may be more accepting out there because there's so many of them. We were not alone, and these, these guys had bigger bikes. They had the 26 inch wheel bikes, whereas I was on the little 20 inch wheel bike. Now, as you know, uh, I have some uh, other 20 inch wheel bikes coming. Um, I have uh, one from a brand that's brand new. That's coming, that's a 20 inch wheel bike. I've got the Magicycle Ocelot will eventually show up. That's 20 inch wheel bike. I got the Magicycle Jaguar Rundi, which is a folding bike. That's a 20 inch wheel bike. <laughs> so, I'm gonna have a number, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have more 20 inch wheel bikes in the house than 26 inch wheel bikes. I think I'll only have two 26 inch wheel bikes and the rest will be 20 inch wheel bikes. So, will I be less, less verbally accosted with these 20 inch wheel bikes? Now, there are some of these 20 inch wheel bikes that kind of look like mini motorcycles. Have you seen these things? Yeah, you know, the headlights are, uh, are made so that they look like big motorcycle headlights, you know, big round headlights. Um, let's turn here. And then there's uh, other aspects of the bike that make it look like, uh, like a mini motorcycle, right? Like a mini bike, mini, Dirt bike? <laughs> I'm not hip on the, the proper terminology on these things. If you rode one of those bikes on a trail, but it's smaller in stature, it's a 20 inch wheel bike, would you be more verbally accosted? I mean, if your bike looked like a motorcycle, but it isn't, of course, 20 inch version, would that make you more of a target? I think this is a good question. I think this was, this is one that uh, I would really like to know what your opinion is. And, and what are you guys riding? Are you guys riding, um, are you riding one of the big 20 inch, uh, the, the 20 inch wheel bikes or the big 26 inch wheel bikes? What are you, what are you riding? Have you been, uh, have you been looked down upon from other riders, other people? What's your experience been? Yeah, put a comment below on this one. So that's really all I wanted to say today. I'm gonna to keep it uh, short. <laughs> I was out riding already, and um, I figured um, this popped in my brain. I says, "Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, gotta talk about this thing because uh, I really would like to know." Anyway, if you uh, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. More rides to come, and um, yeah, we'll be talking about more topics, but. Uh, yeah, more rides. Talk to you guys next time.